action from various Kentucky politicians starting to pour in from Washington, D.C. all the way here to home. LEX 18's Michael Burke has been gathering reactions. He joins us now live from Frankfurt to continue our breaking news team coverage. Well, Chris Dia, as you said, as you might imagine, today's decision by the Supreme Court has sparked a lot of reaction from both sides of the aisle inside the building behind me. Let's start off with our governor. Andy Bashir tweeted uh, his response almost immediately after it came down from Washington, D.C. The governor tweeted, today's decision triggers an extremist Kentucky law that creates a total ban in Kentucky that will eliminate all options for victims of rape or incest. As the former chief prosecutor of Kentucky, I know that these violent crimes happen and not having options for victims of rape and incest is wrong. And then he signed an A.B. so you know it came directly from the governor's office. Attorney General Daniel Cameron also weighed in, writing in part, quote, Today is a day that many have hoped for. The issue of abortion has been returned to the people in the states where it belongs. This moment deserves to be celebrated, but it also calls for renewed commitment. Renewed commitment to life-affirming care for the unborn, for mothers, for Kentucky families. Our General Assembly has already passed laws that protect unborn babies and ensure the health and safety of women, end quote. Again, that's a partial statement. And Senator Mitch McConnell released a statement as well. The minority leader wrote, quote, this is an historic victory for the Constitution and the most vulnerable of our society. For 50 years, states have been unable to enact even modest protection for unborn children. More than 90% of Europe restricts abortion or demand after 15 weeks, but every state in America has been forced to allow it. Judicial activists declared that every state had to handle abortion like China and North Korea, and no state could handle it like France or Germany. Not anymore. Now the American people get their voice back. Millions of Americans have spent half a century praying, marching, and working towards today's historic victories for the rule of law and for innocent life. I have been proud to stand with them throughout our long journey, and I share their joy today, end quote, from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, of course. Attorney General Daniel Cameron is expected to address the media and the state coming up at 1.30 today, and we will have his comments for you later on. Live in Frankfurt, I'm Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.